This is Eugene Panrich. I'm the Laptop Screen Doc, and the name of the website is www.screensurgeons.com. Today we have a HP Chromebook 14 G4, and I'm going to show you how to replace a cracked screen on an HP Chromebook 14 G4. Okay, first let's get a couple things out of the way. We want to make sure we're working on the right laptop. This is called the HP Chromebook 14 G4. So uh, the uh, this is the fourth generation of the HP Chromebook 14, and um, it uses the same screen as the G2, G3, and G4, but the procedure is slightly different. So I'm going to show you this procedure, and the way to identify it is look on the bottom. So this is this particular model, model is the consumer version of the HP Chromebook 14, but for the school districts who will mostly be watching this video, it'll be it'll say on the back HP Chromebook 14, and it'll have G4 instead of AK041DX. The consumer version is AK041DX. The procedure replacement procedure is identical for both models. Okay, so the first thing we want to do is make sure the Chromebook is powered off and each time you open it and close it, it's going to turn on automatically by itself. And the way to turn off is just to uh, long press the power switch or turn off through the operating system. Once we get that done, do that, we can start. The tools that we're going to use is a PH1 electronics screwdriver, a smaller PH0 electronic screwdriver, a pair of metal tweezers to manipulate cables, remove screws, pry things open, a hobby knife to lift up adhesive tape, and a spudger tool to pry things open. So the first thing we want to do is remove the screen bezel. That's the plastic frame around the screen. And in order to do that, we need to remove two screws at the bottom, which are hiding behind some screw covers. Uh, for this model, they're shaped screw covers. So we use our hobby knife, or exacto knife, to peel back this plastic screw cover. And what I want to usually like to do is just put it right beside it, so I don't use the screw, lose the screw cover. And the, we want to do the same thing on this side, so just to lift it up with a hobby knife and use our fingers to pry it back. Next, uh, we're going to try both screwdrivers. First, we're going to try the PH1. See if we can lift it up there and engage the screw. And we can. And we remove the screw. And same thing on the other side. Remove the screw and put it to side. For each step, for each set of screws, I like to put them on the side so I can keep track of which screws go where. Once we do that, we can snap the screen bezel off. We put our fingertips, our fingernails, on the screen side and just start lifting up and out. And this way, go around the screen bezel. And it shouldn't take too long in this case. And so, and on the bottom also. And sometimes it gets stuck on the bottom, so we disengage it and we see that the hinge cover is part of the bezel assembly so we want to see what's going on on the bottom and there's a seam that we have to lift up and what we're going to need to do is pry up the hinge cover and what we do is put our screw inside the hinge cover and just lift it up like that and it comes right out so the next thing that we want to do is remove the screen from the screen assembly. There's two screws, two screws at the top and two screws at the bottom that we have to remove. And once again, we use our PH1 screwdriver. Uh, make sure to uh, press it pretty firmly at first when engaging the screw because these tend to strip. So we want to have good engagement so we don't strip these screws. And we took take the bottom to one and two. Okay. 
Next, we separate the screen from the screen assembly. We lift it up and put it down. When putting it down, want to make sure you don't press the power button so the laptop does not turn on. After this, we need to lift up the adhesive tape that's holding down the connector. And we use our hobby knife again to lift this up, peel the tape back, and once we peel the tape back, we disengage the connector. What we do is grab it by our fingertips on the back and gently slide it out like so. I'm going to show you how to re-engage the connector. You slide it back in and you feel but not hear two clicks. And this is what a properly engaged connector looks like. The two sides of the connection should be flush with each other. There should not be a gap in the seam between the two sides of the connection. So we disconnect it and we look at the screen. This is a 14 inch matte slim EDP screen. Uh, I made a mistake at the beginning of the video. I said G2, G3, and G4 of the Chromebook use the um, use the EDP connector. Actually, the first and the second generation use a, a bigger type of connector, LVDS connector. So the screens from the G2 and the G3, G1 and G2 version are not compatible with the G3 and G4 version. But this exact same screen will work with the G3 version of this Chromebook. So the part number for this particular screen is N140BGE dash E33. Once you do get your new screen in, most likely we will not have the same part number, but it will be compatible. Uh, once again, mostly uh, schools use this uh, Chromebook model and we work extensively with schools and we provide extra support for schools, volume discounts, and take purchase orders from that. Also, as a special offer, if you're watching and if you're a school uh, IT administrator or technician, we will send this exact toolkit that I'm using in this video at no charge to you just for watching this video. So all you need to do is go on our website www.screensurgeons.com and go either to the schools tab or to the contact us tab and just say you watch this video and you would like to get the toolkit and we will send it to you. All right, if you do need these screens, two ways to get them. First way is to go on our website. There will be a short form for you to fill out on the front page, and that will take us take you to the listing directly to buy online. If you work with a school and you take purchase orders or you need to buy in volume, go to the schools schools link at the very top of the page, and then there will be a short form for you to fill out. Just let us know which screens you need and how many, and then uh, we'll contact you right after that. All right, uh, once you do get your new screen in, make sure it looks like the old screen. Reconnect the connector like I showed you. Mount the screen in the screen assembly. Put the two screws in at the top, two at the bottom. Snap the screen bezel back on. Put the two screws in at the bottom and then the screw covers and you should be done. Okay, that's it. Once again, my name is Eugene Panrutkovich. I'm the laptop screen doc. And the name of the website is www.screensurgeons.com. Thank you very much and good luck.